Hi, my name is Sebastian and I'm the owner of Lava Salt and today I'm actually going to talk about a beautiful healthy salad that you can actually make with this gorgeous fruit for melon. What I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a very simple trick on how to actually segment the pomelo and to that pomelo I'm going to add some really cool um, ingredients out here. So I've got some really good local tomatoes, different types of them like we've got the grape tomatoes, you've got the rosette and you've got the yellow cherry. I've got some kale chips which I'm going to tell you in a bit on how to actually make them. They're so tasty and so delicious and I've got some beautiful crumbly local ghost cheese that's going to really really help you and I've also got some beautiful shards or slivers of almond flakes. Lightly toasted them, not in too much of oil. In fact, I haven't put any oil on this particular one for this particular salad. And then my wonderfully smoked lava salt. Look at that, beautiful. I mean, you can just imagine the flakes, the grains, the texture, and that fantastic flavor that's going to come through with that seasoning. It's going to be just absolutely spot on. To which I'm going to actually dress the salad with a simple honey and mustard vinaigrette. And I'm going to use some good old sorrel that's been growing in my backyard and some herbs. Let's get it started. So with the, so with the uh, pomelo, the first thing you want to do is to ensure that always keep the, the flat side, the flatter side down. And we're just going to get a, a knife and we're just going to cut the two edges to basically see how deep is this pomelo. So you can actually see very quickly that I've actually cut two edges. I'm just going to go a little bit more to see where, there you go, and that's, that's where you actually see the center of the, of the pomelo. Now, to which, all you've got to do is start to do a good segmentation. So just start to use your knife and just go around the curve, just like that. And you want to just try and suss out and see how uh, deep you are going to go. Don't go too deep first. Just start to shave the, the pit and the skin's actually gone. You'll start to actually see, you'll begin to see the um, beautiful pink flesh. And just serrating away through all of that membrane that you really don't want. And it's going to make your, your, your salad very, very bitter. I've cleaned up the pomelo and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually segment it. Now when you segment any fruit, always be aware that try not to get a, a huge knife. You want to kind of get a knife that you can actually handle with the kind of fruit that you're actually doing using. So first thing, an incision, you want to go a slight angle, the same shape of the actual fruit, go all the way down, take your knife off and then do that and look what happens. You get a beautiful segmented pomelo. That's what you're looking for. To try and do this, you normally get about close to 12 out of one pomelo, so that's your first one. And all I'm going to do now is just give this grapefruit a bit of kick, a bit of color, just caramelize it a little bit. So all I'm doing is just giving it a quick little burst of, of uh, color through the um, brilling of the actual grapefruit or the pomelo. Look at that. Just going to give me that gorgeous roasted or a caramelized effect and trust me this particular um, technique is a great little chef secret that we normally do when we with fruits and with um, giving things a bit of color a roastedness to it it just makes a dish just elevate itself from just being normal to just amazing look at that absolutely amazing all that lovely colors of that caramelization of the fruit has actually come with me using that torch and it just takes your dish to the next level just by doing a simple little technique by using a high pressure torch it just makes that fruit so amazingly tasty you can actually, you can actually smell that roasty um, smell that actually comes out of that skin of that fruit that actually just got a bit of a, a brown effect that's fantastic so you add about one teaspoon of honey so all you've got to do with the olive oil is just add your, add about say about close to, I'm actually going to add, so I'm thinking if I added about close to 100 ml, I should be able to get enough to actually do about two serves. 
Just whip that very, very lightly. Just gonna add a little bit of seasoning. My lava salt. Just a bit of a, a smidge. Whip that in. Just cut up some tomatoes because I love these um, ripe cherry tomatoes. They're so healthy and they just go so great with the actual fruit. So I've actually done, chosen a couple of really good um, mixed colors. Just cut them rustic, you know, keep it simple. Just keep it light. And you don't want to chop, up, chop them up too much. And please make sure you use a sharp knife because you don't want to bruise uh, the tomatoes. So you've got tomatoes, just going to get some chilies. Just going to cut them very, very thin. And look at that. Because you don't want too much of that heat coming. You want it to be just light. I love chili with um, pomelo or grapefruit. They really work the treat. Gonna add a bit of that chili as well. Fresh red chilies, beautiful. And then I've got my kale chips. And I'm just gonna add just a little bit of lemon zest to the actual dressing. Gonna cut some of this lovely sorrel that has been growing in my garden. Get a couple of them in the actual, it's so peppery and extremely um, tasty and delicious with um, a citrus fruit. It's one of my favorite actually, just putting a little bit of sorrel. Or you can even use a bit of um, spinach, baby spinach, if you like, it's up to you. So just a bit of sorrel leaf, just really lifts up the actual dish. So you've got some nice sorrel, got some feta, so I'm gonna bring into plate this dish. So, First things first, I'm just gonna scatter my, my tomatoes and the chili just randomly, like just don't don't hesitate, you know, because I just love um, just using um, just the rusticality of, of uh, the plate and the dimension of how you're gonna be serving. It really actually helps make um, the, a sal the salad look a lot more pretty and a lot more nice. I think that's enough tomato, I think. Finally, I've got this beautiful pomelo that I want to use in the recipe, and this is the main event. This is the story we're talking about today. This beautiful pomelo salad, and you can see how the colors just are so, so striking. Oh my gosh, that just looks like a beautiful painter's palette. That just looks so good. To which now, I'm actually going to add some of that beautiful goat's cheese. Just put them just randomly, just break them apart and they just like crumble and it's so soft as texture and just keep them in a couple of places on the plate. Just gonna add a couple of bits of my toasted almond flakes and again the reason why I'm using almond flakes, you don't have to use almond flakes but I just love the texture it actually has and that toastedness actually just lifts the plate up, plate, plate up a little bit. A couple of kale chips don't overly dress your salad, just very lightly, just put it on that grapefruit. Look at that, oh my word, that just looks so, so inviting. 